Hey everyone, I'm Gunners Bolo, back with some more Elite things, and today we're going to be doing some more preseason stuff. We're going to be trying a little bit of a different Conqueror build that I've heard was pretty strong, especially in preseason, since preseason is finally here. So we're going to see how this goes, and we're going to hope it, it's really nice. Once again, we're not getting a top lane leash, because top laners just don't know how to leash for some reason. I just, I don't know what it is, but top laners just really bad. <laughs> they're, they're, they're really bad at leashing. They're really bad at being team players, man. But oh well. So we'll just smite this because it's not a big deal. We're going to be doing red to blue to Gromp because it will get you level 3 with double buffs. And then we can go for an early on gank if we need to or we'll see if we want to go up to our wolves. But that's the current plan and the current clear path that I'm going to be doing for uh, right now because it's just it's overall I would say probably one of the better ones to get level 3 in 3 camps. Having you know both buffs at level in 3 camps is pretty nice. Pretty pretty nice. So just kite this out get back to full health and then we'll cut you down. And there we go. I didn't cancel one auto there. It would have been a little bit of time saved, but oh well, what can you do? You cancel an auto, you cancel an auto. Bring you back over here, Q you. Okay. And there you go. That's pretty much how you kite it, and you stay relatively healthy and without really having to necessarily use your potions to level three. You could have kited it a little bit better there. I could have avoided an auto or two, but it's not really a big deal. I'm going to go down here and just see if there's a chance to go for an early on gank because I'm unsure if there is. You can see my runes are at the bottom left, by the way. I have Conqueror, Triumph, uh, Tenacity. Then secondary, I have Nimbus Cloak because Nimbus Cloak gives you movement speed every time you smite. And then um, and then we have, uh, what is it called? Absolute Focus just because you tend to be pretty healthy in the jungle. So I figured, you know what? Let's just do Focus today. Smite that and we'll steal his Krugs. Too bad Krugs aren't worth as much as they used to be to counter jungle, but I mean, they're still nice. They're still really, really nice to kill. They're still one of the more expensive camps, so it's still good to counter jungle them a bit. Ooh, their bot one got all three first. Shall we, dear wolf? I don't know if they noticed me coming up behind or not. Oh, oh. Okay, well, she just gave me first blood and her flash. That's pretty nice. Um, I'll take that. Oh, what the heck? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think Thresh actually lives here, too. That's pretty good. That's a good way to start the game. We got first blood and double kill down bot lane. We do see that Nocturne's on this side of the map, too. He is level 4, which isn't the best for us. But that's still doable if I don't get collapsed on by Vlad. I should be able to get the scuttle. I think he went to his raptor, so I'm just going to try to grab this really quick. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Alright, we're gonna full clear really quick, and then we're gonna go back and probably come back for a Gromp and then a repeat gank bot lane. Just because their bot lane now, we know they have no flashes or anything, and because we eliminated their flashes, it's probably one of the best places to go for any profit, is to just keep heading down there and try to get Jin ahead too. It seems like it's probably the plan right now. What was that? Is that a threshold? Yeah, that's a threshold. Oh, does he have the new thresh skin? He does. He has the new prestige thresh skin. Wow, interesting. I'm surprised he used his prestige points on uh, the chicken thresh skin. Alright, just finished killing this, and then we'll go up and we'll, we'll kill our Krugs after the Krugs. Like I said, we'll go get a nice back off. We'll have a ton of gold to go for the back. So what the build's most likely looking like it's going to be is... Probably Warrior into Sanguine because Sanguine is insanely OP, to say the least. That item is insanely OP. And then we'll probably be going into something like Hurricane, IE, and then maybe like... I don't know. I don't know after that. Hurricane, IE, maybe... Uh, maybe I'm thinking... I want to say... Uh, what is it called? Phantom Dancer for some defensive stats there, but we'll see. I'm honestly not 100% sure what it's going to be yet, but that's what it's looking like. Because from the general consensus, a lot of people can all agree New Conqueror is pretty broken right now. The 15% healing is way too much. It's like literally Death Dance healing without having to have Death Dance. And it's not the hardest thing to stack either, so it's really insane, man. It's really, really insane. Grab one of those and one... Oh, we didn't get the pink. Got the pink. There we go. Oh, 
Let's see, what does she have? Okay, so she's still got phase rush. I'm curious about how Cassiopeia and like Teemo and stuff, how their poison's gonna interact with Conqueror currently. Cause it seems like the like champs like Cassiopeia and Rise especially could stack it insanely easily with how uh, often they can attack. Oh, pressure R, Cass. You're level six, you gotta pressure R. Oh, wait, hang on, there's a Vlad coming down right here. I flash right here just because I want to go for the kill. Oh, but I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, we didn't get it. It was, oh, Teemo, if only you would have been there a little bit sooner. One more auto, a single auto would have killed him, man. I feel like that just, mm, I feel like he should have rotated a bit sooner, but it's all right. It's not the biggest thing ever. It's it's not. So we're going to kill this Drake now, though, because the Drake only has 4k health, and they're insanely easy to kill this season. There's, like, almost no risk to it. So we're just going to try to grab it. We do know that Noct is on this side of the map, but it doesn't appear that there happens to be any uh, phone. Shut up. I don't care about the freaking Black Friday sales. It's not even Black Friday yet. But I don't really think he'll come over here, and it's not warded, so I don't have much to worry about. And, all right, so that's dead. Still can't believe we didn't actually kill the Vlad. Literally a single auto would have killed him. Single auto. But, what can you do? He got out. Well, we can now just hope that uh, Teemo can have some pressure over him for a minute. Although Teemo is out farming him, which is nice. We just hope that Teemo has some pressure and maybe gets in early on, like, uh, uh, Namacon so he can get the re healing reduction for him. But after that, that shouldn't be too bad. I guess we're going to mark Noct for now. And I might go for a gank bot, might not, because we see Noct right there. Noct is actually a little bit ahead of me in level, even though we're about even in farm. Alright, so we're not going to actually go for that gank in bot lane. Oh, yeah, he's dead. They knew Noct turns on that side of the map, and he just randomly isolated himself in the river. Oh, did he actually live? He did. He didn't get hit. Wow. Maybe he, like... I don't know how he got out there, honestly, because it looked like he isolated himself in the river completely. All right, so we see Nocturne's killing that ward, so if he's killing that ward, I'm going to go... Tr I want to go rotate there, but yeah, no. Okay, Nox on bot side. I'm going to go for the mark. Go get this really quick. We need the second mark, and then maybe we can go gank top instead. Oh, that blue's up too. I think going for blue though is a little bit trolly and a little bit empty because their team's definitely going to get here first and I don't have my flash and, and or anything. So I'm not going to go in for that. It's too trolly for me. Even for me, I should say. Alright, we're going to go on, in on him. Alright, so there we go. Oh no, get him! Oh, there we go. Okay, that was close. That was really, really close. He thought he was going to get me there with that flash and <laughs> night. Oh, okay, so we took him down. That's pretty good. Now that we got him dead too, we're going to come over here and we're just going to farm up our Krugs. Once we get our Krugs, we're going to... I, I think we'll clear... Actually, yeah, we'll finish clearing this side of our jungle and then we'll back. We got enough to finish Warrior and then start working towards Sanguine or our boots, whichever we really prefer. I'm probably going to do boots, not going to lie. I think Tabai are kind of... well. It's kind of 50-50. Merc Treads would be really good for, like, the Fiddle Fear, the, uh, the Nocturne Fear, and, like, the Snares and stuff. But at the same time, Tab I would be really good against... Mm, I think either one really works. Uh, what would be... Honestly... I think I'm going to go to the Mercs just simply because it's not like I feel like I'm really risking a lot in death right here. It's more or less that I feel like the CC is going to be the problem, so I think we're going to go Mercs. I think that's the plan. Yeah. Especially for the team fights later on. Boom, I do not care. Stop telling me about the Black Friday deals. No one cares. It's not Black Friday yet. Okay. So the next item, like I said, will be Sanguine. After Sanguine Blade, it's then going to be Hurricane for farming and just applying a bunch of damage and the Conqueror healing and everything to everyone. Afterwards, we'll see what happens from there. He didn't... He, he didn't... Okay. 
All right, well, I was trying not to kill Caitlyn for a second, which I'm really glad that she stopwatched there. Oh, <laughs> she stopwatched and then flash killed him. I wasn't trying to kill her there, though, because I wanted the mark to change onto her. And I mean, she killed my chin. <laughs> she murdered my chin. That's not good. Do you want me to take? Oh, wait, Nox right there. He's on the scuttle. That could be really risky. Nox in the river. Oh, well, I told him. These guys don't really seem to listen much to uh, their jungler, so kind of dying a bunch. All right, we're shoved that wave in. Nobody's gonna stop it either. So with it being shoved under turret, it just makes it kind of easy to uh, deny some farm there. Not looking like anything's gonna happen there. Next Drake's an air drake, which means it's either an infernal rift or an ocean rift. I personally prefer ocean. I think it just I, I enjoy ocean more. But infernal's not bad either, especially if you can get the soul. <laughs> About six seconds until Drake spawns. We're gonna mark Nocturne, even though this is really, really risky to go in the pit. We're still doing it. I'm um, just checking right here to see if there's a ward. I don't see any wards. It's risky to go in here just because if Noct chooses to leave my mark up and then go to the and come to this side of the map, I could potentially die. I'm not giving that to you, Tito. That ain't happening. No, 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 no. Oh, you stupid freaking rat! Why are you? Why? Why are you like this? Why wouldn't you just stay in the pit? Mm, I want to go over the wall, but I don't want to just yet. Yeah, not just yet. Alright. That should be a kill. Oh, I should have. Fuck, I think I just ended. Get him. Get him. There we go. Oh, I trolled so hard. I flashed on the team late because I wasn't paying attention to the fact that he was almost dying. Oh, I can't believe I just ended in that. I cannot believe I just trolled that so hard. Poor Tito. Or my flash, actually. More like it. But that's fine. So we got two drakes so far. You need to have four drakes to get the drake soul. And as you can see, the infernal rift has spawned, which means it changes the map a good decent bit right here. And I don't really care for this one. I think it's kind of dumb. I think it just kind of makes it look uglier, but it is what it is. Either way, it's cool that they did finally add map changes and make the map kind of feel a little bit more unique and not just the same thing for years and years and years on end with no change. But I guess it's kind of cool. I guess it's kind of cool. The scuttle might be my fourth mark, so I want to start working on it. I think... I don't think he has anything left. I'm pretty sure his Gromp is dead. I don't know about his Raptors to be on. Oh, did it bug? I think it bugged. I think the blue mark on the map right there where his Raptors are is actually my mark. That's ha it, That happened before in uh, patches where your mark icon would bug out and it wouldn't show the actual mark icon. It would just show a blue dot, so that might be the issue. Yeah, okay, it just disappeared. I think it did bug. I could be wrong, maybe. Maybe it was a team mushroom, but I didn't see the team mushroom. Maybe I did, I don't know. It's 50-50, because that bug has happened multiple times to me in the past. Hmm, we could try to kill here, but I think trying to kill here is a little bit risky. Yeah, um, I'm going to go back, because it seems like the Vlad's going to play really safe for now. I'm gonna come in, he hit the shroom, he'll use his pool, yep. That's fine, he'll try to Q off me and heal, but he's not going to. Okay, he'll probably go back now then. Let's get ourselves back. Uh, actually, I wanna go kill one more camp, I just thought of this. If I kill one more camp, I can get the Sanguine on the back and I don't feel like going for a secondary. Let's see, he wants to go for a play down here. I do think we could definitely make something happen down here. It just depends. Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> Alrighty. Let's see, can we make any plays happen here? I don't think so. Oh, wait, there's a Nocturne coming down here for sure. There we go. I'm glad that I snuck in the bush there because, uh, like, that Nocturne was definitely going to come down there with them pushing. So that was really, really lucky for me to be down there. Oh. Oh, oh you still missed. Jin. Jin, buddy. We're going to have to talk about your accuracy. We're going to have to demote you, buddy. All right. I'm out here. Alright, I need to go back. I've got enough gold for my sanguine, so let's go back. There's the mark icon. Now it's showing up. Maybe it wasn't bugged, maybe it was a Tito Shroom. I was maybe I was dumb and it was a Tebow Shroom the whole time, but I feel like I've seen that bug though. I know that bug personally happens a lot. It's happened to me a lot. So I was kinda confused. Alright, let's get ourselves our whatever this item is called that I can't remember, Sanguine Blade. And then we'll start working towards our uh hurricane. So, now, if you don't know why Sanguine Blade's so OP, stat-wise, the stats that it gives are actually 3,000 gold worth of stats, which already sounds really good. You get 15, or 50, 80, 15% lifesteal, which, again, that's a lot of lifesteal. That, that, that's a lot of lifesteal. 10, or 10 lethality, and then on top of that, if they're solo, you get even more. You get even higher amounts if you attack them when they're alone. So, you get, and you get attack speed, so it's fun. You get, like, high, I think it's higher lethality. I might die here though. Oh yeah, Garen's a little bit strong. Cass was not on the on par with the play there. I think I might have went in too early. <laughs> Unfortunately, I could not kill the Garen though. That sucks. Cass. Hello, Cass. Stop farming the minion wave and don't give him the herald for free. I gave him Drake for free, so I can't really complain that much, but. Get a gen. Oh, close. All right, yeah. So that sucks. We can't kill the Garen just because Garen's a little bit too tanky and he does too much damage with Triforce and stuff for me. So we're gonna avoid top lane then because I also don't want to fight around the cast because I don't think me and her are gonna be on the same page. You guys could probably win that fight. Just gonna be honest here. There we go. We get him. Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't reach him. I don't have the range. If I had one more mark, I would have had the range to kill him. There we go. We get him. To oh, you didn't even let me get the thing. Oh, that sucks. The Garen's down here. Yeah, the Garen's probably going to wipe people just because he's pretty strong and it seems like he's definitely better than our cast. So that could be pretty, like, bad, but I think I can actually kill him here, which is nice. I wasn't able to get the Nocturne, so I actually didn't get my fourth mark still, which actually, that feels so bad, man. This does not have your fourth mark yet, because you just, you, the like, the one person you weren't really able to kill other than Vlad was the freaking Nocturne. Feels a freaking bad, man. I'm going for this mark. I'm well aware that there's a very solid chance that I die here. I'm going for it. I need this. I, I need four. I am Jin now. There's Nocturne on his way over here, too. There we go. We got the number four. All right, we're going to mark Kate, too, because I feel like I've had Nocturne marked a little too much this map. So, definitely going to do that. We can't let them get the other Drakes, though. So, if you also don't know how the Drakes work nowadays, pretty much the Drakes spawn, or Drakes spawn until one team has four. Once one team has four, they get the soul, and then or, or, or then elders start to spawn. There's not a timer for elders to spawn anymore. Elders don't start spawning at 30 minutes or anything. Elders do not spawn until one team has this Drake soul. Castle? Oh, did you outplay him? Yes, you outplayed one of them. Nice. You're still dead, but you outplayed him. Mm 
There we go, boys. Sick dive. Sick, sick dive. All right, you guys can push that in. I think you'll be able to get that wave, or you can go contest top because they're going to get that turret top, and there's like almost nothing we're going to do to prevent that. But I'm going to go get my sixth mark because I'm behind the marks, and then I'm going to get the bot lane turret. There we go. Get the bot lane turret. And now we can just kind of kill this thing. All right, there we go. All right, we should go back. And I guess instead of getting the hurricane right away, I'm going to get the IE just because the IE, I have enough for the IE from uh, the kills and stuff that we got out of that big fight and like the big Garen shutdown. And then we'll do hurricane. Or we might do PD before Hurricane, in all honesty, because it might just wind up being what's needed to happen. There we go. Got him. Got him, boys. Gotta love that healing and stuff, man. Nobody got dove, did they? Oh, they did. He's gonna Q one of us, but that's not a big deal. He'll still die. Yep. Mm, I think I'm gonna go run it down at Caitlyn really quick and see what happens there. Don't know if we'll actually catch her out. She is a little bit like of a safer player from what I've seen. Mm, where did she go? Dang, she must have ran all the way back because she's not in a bush. Hmm. <laughs> she might have actually went back in the alcove too. Alright, let's grab this. Yeah, okay, so she did run pretty far back there. That's why she's right there. Let's wait out right here for a moment and see what happens. We got a nice red buff too, which we always like the red buffs. Oh, they're pushing in mid. We might have to fight it. Even though we don't want to fight this, because if we die, we lose it. We might just have to. Alright, we killed Garen. Fiddle's dead. We got a nice seventh mark off Fiddle, so we're back on par with marks where we want to be. Good, good, good. And, yeah. This is going well. So one of the things that makes Sanguine so good too is that you get attack speed whenever you're attacking like these camps that you shouldn't necessarily shouldn't have. Hmm. Okay. It helps you clear though and stuff like that. That's what I was trying to think of I'm trying to finish saying, but we kinda got in the middle of this fight, so. Kinda have to uh, focus on killing him really quick. Oh crap. Hmm. I think I'm dead. Ah, I'm so fucked. <laughs> yeah, we gotta got killed there. That sucks, but you know what? That's fine. We killed the uh, fiddle and we killed the uh killed the fiddle. We or not the fiddle, we killed the Caitlyn, we killed the Vlad, that's all that matters. We got our hurricane now, we can farm a little bit faster, and that just works out nicely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh wait, did they actually choose? Uh, they might have actually changed Sanguine. It used to work on champion, or uh, on near one or fewer enemy champion. Okay, yeah. So actually, when you are away, you do gain it. Okay, when you're not near anything. Because yeah, my attack speed like. When your attack speed, once you get the Sanguine to start going, you can see that your attack speed gets high. Because right now, this this item gives you 82% attack speed. I'm not sure if they changed it since the last time I did a video with it back on uh, PvE. If they changed the amount that it does, but I'm not very sure about that. All I know is it's freaking ridiculous once you get it going. And then the 15% lifesteal and stuff is also ridiculous, man. Like, it is insane. Hmm. It's really good for split pushing and dueling is kind of the uh, the idea behind the item too. All right, there we go.
Now we get the hurricane too, so we can clear these waves pretty fast. I don't know if anybody's gonna come contest me. There might be a fiddle and a Caitlyn who jump on me with a fiddle, and if so, I don't know if I'll be able to actually live. But we're gonna see. I'm just gonna queue for the attack speed at this point. We got the turret. We gotta leave now because we don't know where their team is. Not worth staying. Okay, so there's knocked. Hmm. Will Noct come in the jungle here? And the better question, can I 1v1 Noct? I feel like I could, right? There we go. Yeah, I figured I could kill him. You can see, he just freaking got instantly destroyed. There was no chance for him right there at all. So, that works out pretty decently. You're not, you're, you're not killing me like that, Vladdy. You're not killing me like that, Vladdy. I, I said no. I said good day, sir. And there we go. We might be able to catch this Caitlyn out and kill her too. I don't know if I'll actually be able to. Yep, we got her. Oh. Kindred is fed. Kindred is strong. I actually think Kindred feels really, really solid this season. Like, I think they feel really good to play. So I'm really happy right now. Until the nerfs come. Not really. I don't think they'll actually nerf it. He's probably going to ult me, huh? Yep, he wants me dead. Kind of figured. I was the most obvious choice there because I wasn't completely full health and he wants to shut down. So, you can kind of just tell that's where he was going to go with that. All right, let's grab ourselves the PD now. There we go, we're full build, boys. I'm gonna go get this red buff, and then after we get the red, we'll head back on uh, to the dragon. So if you don't know what the Infernal Drake Soul does, I don't either, so we're gonna find out right here. Damaging abilities and attacks create an explosion around the target, dealing 90 plus 25% bonus AD, plus 15% AP, plus 3% bonus health adaptive damage. Okay, that's a little bit high. <laughs> that's a lot. Creating an explosion on somebody because you did damage to them might be a little bit wonky. Alright, Tito needs to go shroom top. If he doesn't go shroom the top lane, we're gonna wind up probably losing our, our time. Mm-hmm. Alright. So we got two killing sprees, nice, nice, nice on the team, boys, nice, nice, nice. And here we go, boys, we're getting the Elder Drake, or the Infernal Drake Soul, here it comes. Woo! Allied team has claimed the Infernal Dragon Soul. So you can see now rotating below us, we have the Infernal Drake icon uh, rotating. That's pretty much what the soul does. It, it's pretty much like it gives you a brand passive, in a sense, like, you know, the explosion. Just not percent max health damage, but still. It's really dope really really dope like the soul idea they're cool at the same time i can also see why they're going to be extremely broken like you see that little pulse right there that's the explosion and if anybody were standing next to him they would take that damage too oh i almost turned around there that could have been bad and he is done good on us there we go we can go get baron <clears throat> now once we grab Baron, we can go back. We'll probably grab ourselves maybe a Death Stance too, because or actually, you know what? I might sell the. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is finally going out. I might sell myself the Warrior and try to go for Cleaver. I feel like that could be kind of fun because and the reason I'm saying Cleaver is because the uh, the pen. But at the same time, I don't think I need it because Garen has almost no armor. What we're gonna do here is, you know what? I know what we're gonna do. I almost I almost want to go double IE. <laughs> no, I think we'll do Death Stance. It's so tempting to go double IE just for the 100% crit. But no, we're gonna do Death Stance. It just seems like the best bet. More survivability. More healing. More everything. So pretty much with this build alone too, for those of you who don't know, because Conqueror gives me 15% healing, Death Stance gives me 15%, that's 30. Plus on auto attacks, I get another 15%. So I get 45% lifesteal just from those... Just from those things. Oh, Kate's dead. Tito shrooms to the rescue. Go, 
Mm, I want to go in there so bad. Yeah, let's, let's do it. There's eight seconds on knocked. We can we can be in here for a second, and then I'll have Tito with me. All right, now I gotta back away. We'll just push out the way for a second. If I don't back away now, the knock's just gonna want me, and I don't feel like dying to knocked. <laughs> Okay, that's dead. I kind of wonder if anybody will come over here, but I don't think they will. I'd be very surprised in all honesty if they did. There's a limit to where I'm allowed to push up alone right now, just because if I push up alone with a Nocturne in the game, even if I am as strong as I am, the, fee the CC they have will instantly kill me. Like, Thresh right there just kind of killed himself because of that, the CC. Yeah, see, like, there's nothing he's really gonna do to live there. Oh, I, oh, okay, yeah, I was gonna say, is he somehow in the Garen? Because I don't feel like that should be possible. Yeah, there's Garen. And Garen should be dead as long as Cass has damage, but she might not have any form of damage, so she might not actually die here, which kind of sucks, but oh well. What can you do? Elder is going to spawn two and a half minutes. If the game's still going on that long, I would honestly be surprised because we should be able to get at least two, maybe three inhibs down right now. And there's not really much they can do to prevent the inhibs going down, so... Yeah. Mm, I could die, so... Get him! Get him, boys! Get him! Get him! Oh my god, my life steal! Oh my... Oh no! The fear! Holy crap, that lifesteal! No. <laughs> what was that lifesteal? I think we just set her up for a penta too. That lifesteal though, no, boys. That was crazy. That lifesteal. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, I hope you guys do enjoy these kind of, this, uh, this new build. It definitely feels pretty strong. Maybe without the sanguine though. I don't know. The sanguine felt really good for the lifesteal and stuff, but I don't know how its passive works anymore because it doesn't seem to be working the same as PBE. But even so, it's still freaking crazy and fun. Let's check how we did damage-wise and stuff. I wouldn't be surprised if Cass outdamaged me because she's Cass, but that was that was something, man. That that was fun. That was fun. I I very much enjoyed. Uh, I very much enjoyed that. Let's see. Damage-wise, yeah. There we go. <laughs> that was super good, man. How we do for runes? We healed for 2k damage with a Conqueror. Healed for 1.7k with Triumph. Let's see, the other runes aren't going to say that. Unfortunately, you can't tell with your items how much you healed for. But let's see how we did for total healing this game. Although total healing is kind of skewed because it counts for how much you did off of minions and stuff too. But, oh well. Let's see. I can't, what, am I blind? Is there no total healing? Healing done, there it is. There it is. Okay, so do that, uncheck this. There we go, we we out healed a Vlad. <laughs> we out healed Vlad, like what? That's so fun though. Well, I hope you guys enjoy anyways. If you do enjoy this, check out my Twitch in the description below as well, and uh, leave a like and sub if you enjoy it. I'll be doing a bunch of preseason stuff. If you have any random preseason build or thing you want me to try, just let me know down below and we'll definitely be doing it. Preseason is the time for testing, so that's what we're gonna be doing. But have a good day everyone, and see ya.